voters right. that maybe Trump has not yet appealed to. Well, you know, when you talk suburbs, it sounds like a code for maybe a, a, a woman or a female. And we know Donald Trump's campaign has been pretty adamant about, quote, not pandering. And as far as some of the uh, old school conservative bedrock issues, he's gone to war with uh, trade this all week long. So I, I'm not sure that uh, he, uh, Donald Trump and the old Republican platform are, uh, can ever mesh. Well, that, that, that may, may, may be the case, but in the polling, he's about 73% of Republicans are voting for him right now. If we want a chance to win, we've got to get 90% of Republicans uh, to actually come out and vote for him. And so uh, maybe someone like a Pence can address that very good limited government principles, and I think that would have some appeal to our philosophical wing. Steve, uh, you're involved with the Trump uh, organization. Uh, you know Donald Trump very well. Uh, do you have any inside sense here what, who, who may ultimately come out? Well, 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 not inside sense, but I've got to tell you, you know, I'm a Jersey guy, so that means a lot. <laughs> I, I've got to tell you, Charles, Chris Christie out of the gate. He took a chance. He took a risk. Remember, when everybody was pounding on Trump, Christie did not. He stuck by his side. He kept his word, and loyalty means a lot to Donald Trump. What, the, what other alternative did Christie have, though? I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a broken candidate now in Jersey. I don't, and he, they, he, can't, he, can't, he can't bring Jersey. I don't think he can win Jersey, even if he was attitude well, well I, I don't know Charles if that's actually factual I know there's a lot of polls that indicate that but 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 I look at the bigger picture not just Two pit bulls on one ticket you like well, that well, well I like it because you need to have a tough president and you know what you're gonna need a vice president could, that could be just as tough you know Adam again that that's what that's what's happening here you've got a lot mm -hmm. of us uh, you know I don't know if we're <laughs> overthinking this but certainly a lot of different areas and a lot of different uh, ways to go with this you, you, you understand the party you understand how this works what would your suggestion be? Rule number one uh, about picking a vice presidential nominee, do no harm. Rule number two is pay attention to rule number one. So after you get through that, usually the, the things you look at are ideology, uh, that's already been talked about, uh, geography, demography. But I have a feeling that if you're looking for the perfect candidate for Donald Trump, there are two other words that come into play. And maybe some of the candidates that you're talking about measure up. And here are the two words, experience and attitude. I think that Donald Trump is looking for a, a running mate that has both, that has, has the kind of experience where he can hit the ground running, he or she. And number two, has an attitude about it because that, this campaign from the very beginning has had a, has had a kind of a message for America, which is we're tired of losing, we're getting back on the winning track, and I think he wants a running mate that feels right for that message. So the attitude is incredibly important here. All right, but uh, you know, it sort of sounded like you, you were going to give me uh, Isaac Asimov's uh, three rules for robotics, <laughs> uh, but, but you don't want to give me a name, though, huh? Well, you know, Pence is, a, is an interesting name, but Pence has to not run for re-election. So he has, he has a, a political bar that he may not want to uh, hurdle, he may not want to clear. I think Newt Gingrich uh, maybe uh, has the, all the right ingredients. He, step, he definitely has experience, and he still has attitude to kind right. of bring it. Yeah. So that kind of player, I think, is, is a fit. Yeah, for what it's worth, I, I'm leaning toward Newt as well. I think he'd be a perfect fit, and I've seen him push back. And that would be good for Donald Trump from time to time. All right, guys, thank you, gentlemen, very much. Coming up, England.